uh, <coughs> hello everyone welcome in today's uh, video today i want to talk about uh, hydroponic farming or soilless farming why soilless farming well let us first of all understand the functions of the soil what does the soil give to the plant number one the soil normally gives a support for the uh, for the plant or where the, the the plant can put its root so one function of a soil is uh, uh, providing the support number two is uh, the supply or provides water for the for the plant and <clears throat> number three for providing the the nutrient to the to the plant not only providing the nutrient but also allowing what you call the the aeration remember the the, the, the growing plant require the the air so it requires also to to breathe so it's also require what you call the the aeration now those are the three fundamental uh, functions that soil normally provide to a plant a support water and the nutrient and in that point of the nutrient we also have the the aeration factor now if we can be able to get a system that will enable us to have the three functions number one for the supporting the 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 the, 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 the plant number two the whereby we that system can be able to provide the water and finally can be able to pro, to, to provide the air the aeration or what we call the nutrient then we are good to go that's where now the hydroponic farming is coming in now why do hydroponic farming and we could have done it with this with the soil and thus the same but it is now understood scientifically that the hydroponic farming has more return why if you look at the soil the current situation of our land the soil is normally much contaminated so that which means if you want to do the farming you first of all require your soil to be examined and then your soil to be fixed for it now to be able to 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 do the the growing of plant without much problem so you require a lot for you to be able to do uh the 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 planting with the soil than in with hydroponic system so with hydroponic system what you require is just a system that allows your plant to be supported that allows your plant to access water that allows your plant also to access the nutrient and also allows the aeration to go very well now in this video i'm going now to look at that system and i also going to discuss something to do with what i do uh, on hydroponic farming and many has been asking very many questions on uh, the same uh, a question for example uh, why do we not use the hydroponic solutions why do we not use the hydroponic fertilizers why do we not use the hydroponic nutrient in the production of uh, hydroponic food so all this that you can hear about the hydroponics uh, hydroponic fertilizers hydroponic solution hydroponic nutrient is just one one thing now why provide hydroponic solution in hydroponic fodder fodder takes just less than a week for it to mature so one thing that we need to note is that uh, we do not mature the plant to give us the seed so if that plant let's say the barley that we use can go 
up to the maturity until we harvest the seed, then we require a lot of nutrient. So the seed or the fodder just take just seven days and then it is it is uh, uh, ready for the livestock. So the processes that normally takes place there is only the sprouting. That one doesn't need uh, nutrient. The sprouting. Once it has, uh, we have been able to sprout the seed, then we will now grow that seed to just about six uh, inches uh, per hand. Then once it is six inches further, then we are done. So already what is uh, in water is enough to make sure that our seed germinate and grow up to six inch and it is ready for the livestock why use nutrient why use all this that is just what we call wastage that is what we call wastage now uh, on the other hand when we are growing vegetables uh, example the sukuma wiki or the the kills we also have uh, the spinach, uh, the broccolis, and other, even the the, the 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 tomatoes. All those will have to mature. They will have to take months, two months, three months in there. So they require fertilizers. They require the hydroponic solutions. Now there are some. Uh, technology that has been has been there put in place to enable the hydroponic farming for example for the for the for the vegetables then there are some cup like that normally uh, hold or uh, support the the plant by inserting the that uh, sukuma wiki or that kale or that uh, uh, spinach there in then you put some inert inert stone like uh, objects just to ensure that the plant is standing now once the support is attained we then need a saturation of nutrient that will keep on saturating the system now and then so we also have to supply nutrient regularly so therefore there is that cycle there is uh, some pumps that keep on pumping the the, the the solution and also the water and the system uh lands very very well hence there is no time the plant will lack the the nutrient so the nutrients are there now uh it is worth noting that those are uh, materials uh, that are put on uh, uh, those caps to just ensure that the plant stand uh, they are materials that will also allow the, the aeration now if we are able now to get to be able to attain the three condition the support the aeration and the supply of water and nutrient then we are done and we can successfully do hydroponic farming in conclusion Hydroponic farming is better than doing uh, the production of uh, the plant production wherever in the in the soil with the soil in the land because much is expected when using land. When using hydroponic farming, you just require you just require. Uh, very small area and then you can arrange your your pipes or your system very well so a very small area produce a lot of product a lot of product are there remember when dealing with the land we must now talk about spacing why are we doing spacing because the nutrient in the soil if we uh, we do the the, 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 the spacing longly that means that uh, the plant won't even grow well. The reason? Because of the spacing. 
So uh, here in, in hydroponic farming of vegetables, the issue on uh, spacing is normal. Why? Because we are providing nutrient regularly. So that's where now the nutrient comes in. We are providing nutrients regularly. So therefore, we can have a lot of uh, plants in just small area and the production will be much higher than on the land. So therefore, that's why uh, the technology or the uh, many farmers are just uh, adapting this hydroponic farming and uh, leaving the farming on the land. So for the hydroponic farming, there are also some other guidelines that normally help uh, in attaining or in doing this uh, farming. So uh, what we have discussed today is just uh, basics or the fundamental uh, uh, things that we should know on uh, the hydroponic farming. So farming of other plants like uh, vegetables, like uh, uh, tomatoes and other things is, is also possible. So nothing is impossible, but first of all, before even deciding to uh, go to or to switch into the hydroponic farming, before you think of uh, going to hydroponic farming, then there are many things that you have to consider. For example, so those that uh, have some fish, they are doing some fish, they can also do the, the hydroponic, but it is known as the aqua aquaponic. So this aquaponic is whereby the nutrient comes from the fish. So that water that comes from the fish pod, then that water is now regulated in, in, the, in the system. So you don't need to put more nutrient in that water. So that water that comes from fish has nutrient in it. So therefore, that is what we call the aquaponic aquaponic farming and uh, also it's just a blanch in the hydroponic farming in hydroponic farming you must ensure that the hydroponic solutions the hydroponic fertilizers are are there so uh, that is what we mean by the soilless farming you don't need to put some soil you just need to continue that way thank you very much for watching for more videos and updates each and every moment I upload a new video, please remember to subscribe to my channel below. You can like, you can comment and share with friends. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you.